Okay, super fast roulette battle coming up here. Uh, I just lead with this arrow X thing which I got in the roulette, and it sucks because it's uh, adamant, so I've got to get the hell out of there. I go to Golden Hen, purely as death fodder. I mean, starting off straight out the bat, that's just death fodder. So there's nothing that that thing's going to be doing this whole match, so sleep fodder's fine by me. I go back out to the spirit tomb thing because... I've seen it kill those bats before, and I just throw a Willow Wisp out, expecting a switch, and I hit that thing. So that's great. I know Switcheroo's coming. I guess the right move, and uh, I managed to get the Switcheroo. So I guess the right move, but I guess the wrong item because I thought I'd be getting an orb of some sort to get a status move or maybe a choice scarf for a choice scarf. But I guess Sticky Barb. So that sucks because Sticky Barb is no help whatsoever. He bounces up high, and i got to get the hell out of there, because that's not going to be nice, even with the burn. So I go to the one thing that resists it, and uh, he gets paralysed. So even though that's adamant, and uh, it does kind of suck on his speed, I was a little bit miffed about that. But I'm using it as kind of like a weird Rhyperia anyway, because it's choice banded and junk. So Stone Edge finally hits, and uh, after this, he sends out the Glaceon, and when he sends out the Glaceon, I thought maybe an Ice Beam's coming, so I almost went to uh, Infernape, which luckily I didn't, because the Water Bolts would have completely whacked it, and uh, yeah, that uh, Infernape is one of the only good things I actually got in this roulette. So I managed to dodge that, and uh, I managed to survive, which shocked me to completely, but I uh, missed a Stone Edge, that sucks. So I send out that thing, and it turns out it's scarfed, so after dodging that wonderful water pulse earlier, I just get waxed by it then, and I figured he was screwed in there, so I over-predicted and used the U-turn. So that pretty much sucks, I did not feel good about that whatsoever. So I send out the death fodder, the golden hen, which is actually named after a seagull I know, that's completely crazy. But uh, I'm not going to bother about that now. And he went to the ghost thing, predicting the obvious uh, normal type attack. And here I made a bit of a mistake, I uh, went with the nasty plot on the wake up, and then used Psychic. I suppose if I just did two Psychics, I could have got a drop on the first Psychic, which would have done more than a nasty plot boosted Psychic. And that could have changed a lot, actually, in the end. But uh, it didn't happen, that's the way it happens, I guess. So he takes out this golden hen piece of junk thing, that's probably like the worst Pokemon I've ever made. It's got like hidden power water and crap, it's just... I just get out of here. That's crap. Anyway, so I send out this thing, uh, threatening the sucker punch, but he knows it's a sucker punch because he knows this is a lead off spirit tomb because he's just good like that, I suppose. And uh, now he sees that's going on, so he starts calm mining up. I'm not going to have any of that, so I start uh, taunting. So I suppose once he saw that taunt, he knew exactly what's going to come. So I figured he was going to stay in with all those calm mines, so that I just basically. Went for the uh, Will O' Wisp, because uh, the Pain Split, because I thought that he was going to hit me with a Dark Pulse. So he sends out the, uh, the already damaged Glaceon. So I end up giving it health. So that's another great predict on his part, and I'm just getting toyed around here. I figured I could just about live an Ice Beam, but he hits me with a Blizzard instead. So that's not good. I send out the only thing that I thought I could do it with, because he's like locked into Blizzard now. And I think, ah, oh, Sandstorm, brilliant. But he happens to just ignore the sandstorm, like, weakness to blizzard, or whatever. The blizzard's weakness to sandstorm, and just hit me with it anyway. So that sucks, I'm pretty much out of it right now, because I really needed that to miss. I send out this thing, uh, obvious switch is obvious, so I managed to nail the uh, ghost on the way in. And this is where that, if I did two psychics, it probably would have made a little bit of a difference if I got lucky. Because now that thing has actually survived, it's going to go first, knock me down to low health, and once I'm at the low health, the uh, Scarf Glaceon can just water pulse me, so that sucks. And that's a pretty much the sweep that he needs to get me over there, so that's all that she wrote for that. Uh, I just like to thank him for like not being as, uh, not calling me a dick for uh, running on our first battle, because I was a dumbass halfway through our first battle. And um, I ran, because that's what dumbasses do. They click the run button by accident. So, uh, yeah, he just finishes me off with the Shadow Ball. So he didn't even get to use the uh, Scarf Glaceon. Look at that. I didn't even get to see two of his guys. That's how, like, random that was. So uh, check out more vids soon.